equation how to solve for a and b in this system of equation here yeah, let this be equation one and here be equation two then subtract equation two from one we have equation one minus two which becomes the left hand side here we have a square minus b then minus into bracket b square minus a now equals to 57 minus 57 that's zero there then using minus here to open the bracket this becomes a square minus b then minus b square plus a equals to zero from here then here let's bring the square together this gives us a square <coughs> excuse me please minus b square then we have plus a minus b equals to zero from here and from here we have difference of two square which you can write as a plus b then into bracket a minus b close bracket then plus here also we can put this in bracket as a minus b now equals to zero from here then here we have a minus b common now when we factor it out we are left it here a plus b then plus here we are left it one which is equal to zero on this side now here we have two cases a minus b equals to zero or here we have a plus b plus one equals to zero and on this side this implies that we have a equals to b and here we stated that a is not equals to b then it implies that a is not equal then on this side taking one here we have a plus b equals to minus one let's label this as equation three then in the next step let's add equation one and two so we have equation one plus equation two we are interested in finding a minus b so that we can solve it together with this simultaneously now when we had equation one and two from the left hand side we have in equation one a square minus b then plus equation two we have b square minus a which is equal to 57 plus 57 that is here we can rearrange here bringing the squares together a square plus b square then here we have minus a minus b now equals to 1 uh, 14 on this side and let's take a and b to that side and that implies that we have a square plus b square now equals to 1 and 14 plus a plus b and don't forget here we have the value of a plus b already in equation 3 to the minus 1 that means here we have plus minus 1 which is still minus 1 so we have, we have a square plus b square equals to 114 minus 1 which is same thing as a square plus b square equals to 113 from here then so from equation 3 that we have a plus b equals to minus 1 then let's square both side of this then on this side the expansion will give us a square plus b square plus 2ab which is equal to minus 1 square give us 1 then from here we have a square plus b square we have the value from here to be 113 so we have 113 plus 2ab then equals to 1 then taking 113 to that side we have 2ab now 
equals to 1 minus 1 and 13 that will be minus 1 and 12 then here divide both sides by 2 and here AB give us minus 56 that is here we can make use of this adding 50 now to get a minus b and say a minus b all square when we expand this this gives us a square plus b square minus 2ab then from here we have a minus b all square now equals to a square plus b square we got that to be 113 then minus 2 times a b here we have minus 56 then here this becomes a minus b all square now equals to 113 then minus and minus plus 112 then here we have a minus b all square now equals to 125 then here to get a minus b just take the square root on both sides here square cancel square root we have a minus b now equals to plus or minus sorry this is 225 please when we had it plus or minus 15 from here so here we have two possible values of a minus b first one here we have a minus b equals to 15 and the second one a minus b equals to minus 15 then let's solve this together with what we have in equation 3 a plus b equals to minus 1 then a plus b equals to minus 1 then what we had here to eliminate b this gives us 2a equals to here 15 plus minus 1 that same thing as 14 then dividing both sides by 2 here then here cancel out we have a now equals to 7 so now to get b we can still use the same equation 3 and say from a plus b equals to minus 1 then that means b equals to minus 1 minus a then b here will now be equals to minus 1 minus 7 so b equals to minus 8 so if this is a1 then this is b1 we have the first set of solution a1 comma b1 now equals to 7 comma minus 8 so we have first set of solution here then here on this side as well when we solve this side simultaneously let's add as well here give us 2a equals to here we have minus 16 divide both side by 2 and 2 cancel out here we have a now equals to minus 8 then from here also we can use this relation that's b equals to minus 1 minus 8 so we have b now equals to minus 1 minus minus 8 so b now equals to minus 1 plus 8 and b equals to 7 and if here we have a2 this side will be b2 that means here we have a2 comma b2 now it then give us minus 8 comma 7 and when we check from what we have we discover that these two solutions here will satisfy the given uh, problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell share this video if you have another way to solve it put it in the comment section and see you next class bye for now